Welcome to Savvy Creators. I'm Alexander. Today we are going to create this. So click on the plus button and rename your project. We name this Coda. So for this is an ad for the Coda brand. So click on create project. So first off, we start by adding our background. Click on the overflow menu and click fill screen. Then change your color and scale it up a little bit. All right. So uh, we have to increase the length of our project. So click on it and drag it forward. So this is ID. So add the first part of our background. Click on the overflow menu and click on face screen. So we also need to reduce the opacity to like uh, ten percent. All right. So I'll leave it at that. So we have to expand the image to the end of our timeline as well. So we start by adding our image to click on the plus button, then add the image to click on move attraction to move it to the right hand side. All right. Also, you expand to the end of back or the timeline as well, and also to the beginning. So you start by animating it, add a keyframe, then go to the beginning, then move it downward to add another keyframe. All right. So the first part of it is this. So you can add uh, an easy map. So it's kind of too fast. So uh, you move it upward and also backward a little. All right. So next off, we add uh, the coda name. So this is it. So move it up. And you can scale it. All right. And also, you, uh, you expand it to the end of the timeline. All right. So, so you add the keyframe somewhere here, and you move it up. So that's it. All right. So next off, we start adding our test. So uh, we're going to add, uh, which is the tagline, is banking, but better. All right. So we have to change our color. So use the color picker to select the color from the uh, from the coda name. You see there. So what, uh, which is the brand color of coda bank that's what we are using. So click on the plus sign to add it to your palette and click on it. So increase your test size and also the font. So, so she's the boot font. All right. So change the font. Not small. So leave it as this. All right. So position the font right under the coda name. Oh, let's remove it from this key too. So put it right under the coder name. So move it to the end of our timeline as well. So next thing I want to do is uh, add an effect. Your test effect, which is our test. This is preset type in. So 
so I'll click on end okay yes that first move it for a little bit I don't know if it test if it which is our test transform we write then click on it then move it forward also Surface, I'll move it forward as well. So, this is it. Okay. So, we are done that test. So, this is our call to action. Join the bank of the free all right so we should look a lot of the brown color and also our font so increase our size a little bit all right so you start positioning it. So you need to move it a little bit bold. All right. So this is it. So let's add an effect, test effect. Then we put a fade of a little. So move it for a little bit. Right, that should be enough. So that's in the position of it. Get it on a little bit more. So, so next up we are going to add the app store icons to start with this so you scale it down to so move it into position Okay, so let's add the one for the app store. So we scale down as well. Then position it with the moving to so you have to make sure they fit into this space available. You have to animate these two images. So let's add a bookmark. Then add a keyframe. Then go to the starting and add another keyframe by moving it down. Go to the beginning. So add a keyframe and move it downward, which also add another keyframe. To move it to the beginning which is the keyframe so let's see add it. all right cool so i'm going to expand to the end of our timeline as well so click on the plus button to add a shape so move it downward and resize it
So move it on top of this test layer here. Okay. So we go to add an effect to it. So go to order. Then choose magnify background. So choose the two times magnifier. Then you scale, scale it right down to all one. All right. So add a keyframe. Then go to uh, you, let's say let's expand it to the end of the timeline first. So click on it and add a lucky frame in the middle you can use it to like uh, one uh, one nine so to go to the end uh add a lucky frame by decreasing it right back to one is it so let's watch it on our screen so this is it so let's add something a little bit more let's add a circle shape to you have to scale it down then place it on top of this circle here then change the color to white the position is why Scale it up to cover up. So what you have to do is have, you got to uh, duplicate this layer. So change this color to the Kodak brand color. So add an effect. So we add uh, the blink effect. So click on it, click on standard settings, then we kind of change the frequency of it. So I'm sitting carrying with it. I think this should be okay. All right, so we expand to the end of background as well. So go to here and tinker with it once more. All right, so we want to add an audio to it. So you have to choose an audio from your internal storage. So we add this audio file to it. So I have to trim at the end. So we trim this part off. So we still trim it. So everything be on the same place. So I'm going to add some shakes to this or uh, girl's image. So add the shake effect. Which is the auto shake. So click standard settings. And edit the magnitude of the shake. So I think this should be enough. So let's play it first. All right, this should be enough. Okay. 
so we select all layers so let's so let's play some small all right i think this should be, is good so this is as our volume so add a keyframe here and decrease the volume so i can ease that more nicely all right so thanks for watching this video tutorial if you like it kindly subscribe and turn on notification bell and also you can share with your friends and family thank you so next we have to export our project so click on to choose the resolution of our project so click on export and export the project so this is it all right let's click on save and that's it thanks for watching